Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 1st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. A look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here with our sun. 304 angstroms, large plasma filament ripping away from the northeast limb. Be able to see that in the last few images there. And as well, small sunspot region cresting in the southern hemisphere. We can see that here on the left-hand side. Large plasma filaments in the northern hemisphere that are cresting as well. Looking at outgoing images here, we have two C-class flares to talk about. And as well, that large plasma filament ripping away. You'll see that here on the left-hand side. Another closer look at it here. Look at the height of that blast. And that created a huge CME on the backside of our sun. Amazing images here. Solar Dynamics of the Observatory. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Huge plasma filament area and as well the cresting region to be on the lookout. No major coronal holes that are facing right now. Set to turn away and diminish. And no new ones creating here in the last few images. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, we saw a couple spikes there in the last few hours. C-class solar flares. Solar proton flux slightly elevated with that geomagnetic activity sitting at KP3. There is your impact. Our real-time solar wind. We're sitting at 430 kilometers per second. We dropped right down earlier today to 345. And then we had another space weather impact here right at about 7 p.m. February 1st. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing yesterday's blast taking off towards Bepi. And then refreshing now, and here is that huge CME blast. Wow, that is a big one, folks. Man, oh man, am I ever happy that, <clears throat> pardon me, was not Earth-directed. Looks like Mercury and the Parker Solar Probe are going to get a piece of that. Having a look at LASCO 3, showing that sun diving comet, but it's not diving to the sun. It's making its way around, but it looks like it was pulled into its gravity a little bit there. And then look in those last few images, that large CME blast. Schumann Resonance for today, a high power of 62. A couple major spikes there earlier today. Around 11 a.m. As well between 3 and 5 a.m. Quality of 15.3, power of 62, amplitude of 36. Now let's get to earthquakes. The past 24 hours, we're sitting just still above 200 earthquakes across the USGS map. Increased activity here up into Peru and Colombia. We're going to start out in South America with the most recent 4.1 earthquake there, San Antonio de los Cobros, 200 kilometer depth. As well, north there, 4.2, 4.6, 4.3, right up into Peru, 5.0, Ecuador. And as well, northern Colombia with a 4.6. 4.8 earthquake here, central mid-Atlantic ridge. Yesterday, it was a 4.8 mid-Atlantic. Overlooking Mexico, 4.1 earthquake there. Increased activity through White City, New Mexico, and as well a 3.1 here, El Moro, Colorado, 3.1 there, Thousand Palms, Alaska, pretty quiet. Largest earthquake today was a 6.0 earthquake in Babag, Philippines, followed by a 4.6 aftershock, 4.4 here. 
east of Krakatoa and one west of Krakatoa, Sumatra with a 4.6, 5.0 earthquake there, Papua New or Solomon Islands, and very quiet across Fiji and into New Zealand. 4.6 earthquake here in Greece, 13 kilometer depth. And as well, a 5.0 Dominican Republic early this morning, 4.1 Cuba. Let's have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Largest being this week, the 6.0 Philippines. Other than that, the larger earthquakes were 5.9s. Still expecting something a little bit bigger here, especially with that deep, those deep earthquakes all across the Pacific West Ring of Fire. Increasing activity there through the Atlantic. Heads up, Pacific Northwest, North America. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well noting the most recent volcanoes, looking at Chikorotsky in Russia, as well Swiss and Najima, Japan, Popo in Mexico, Santa Maria in Guatemala, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Many volcanoes getting updated today. Those are just in the last three hours. Sabincaya in Peru. Fuego in Guatemala. We have a new one that has awakened as well. Coming up here. Here it is. Epi in Vanuatu. New volcano awakening 21 hours ago. Semeru in Indonesia. Reventador in Ecuador, Shevluch in Russia. So that's at least 12 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 46 that are active and erupting across the world. Carrying on here, looking at satellite imagery, still pretty large swath of moisture affecting Northern Territory of Australia and as well New Zealand. Strong system heading through Afghanistan and extreme cold temperatures with that low bringing blizzard-like conditions. And as well, you're going to have blizzard-like conditions across northeastern Europe with that tightly whipped low-pressure system that came out of Iceland as it has now made landfall, getting ready to swirl southeastward into the Mediterranean. Let's have a look at world weather forecast. We're going to start out here in North America. Got some weather moving through southeastern states. Next few days, lingering flurries across Ontario, lake effect snow. And across a west coast, B.C. and Washington, down to California. You've got a lot of moisture coming to you this week. Big Colorado low here developing Tuesday Now watch with that Colorado low as it's going to bring in a lot of tropical moisture from the Gulf. So we're going to see a rain event after this extreme cold, but a very strong low pressure system will be heading through the Great Lakes Wednesday to Thursday. Heads up northeastern states and as well Ontario, Canada. And as well Alberta. Saskatchewan, you'll be seeing a late season, or sorry, a late next week snowstorm. Overlooking South America, heavy rains to affect coastal regions of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Brazil, Sao Paulo. Other than that, daily evaporation rains. Overlooking South Africa and Madagascar, this is where most of the weather is right now. Tons of rain heading towards coastal regions of Madagascar East and as well possible tropical cyclone developing in the long range. Overlooking Europe. Strong low heading through eastern Mediterranean right now making its way over into Afghanistan in the West Indies. And abnormally warm temperatures, high pressure ridge moving in for the long range, dry and abnormally warm. No major cyclone developing there for Sri Lanka. 
It was a concern a couple days ago, but now it is not. Daily evaporation rains through equatorial regions overlooking Australia. Big low pressure system affecting Tasmania. It's going to affect New Zealand in the long range by Saturday, Sunday. Scattered showers with daily evaporation rains for eastern regions of Australia. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Pacific as we do have some pretty strong snowstorms in the long range forecast racing towards Alaska. We could see some very heavy snowfall totals there and as well in the long range stormy conditions for the United States, Gulf states and extreme cold temperatures. That's right, these temperatures will be funneling down from Siberia. Big low pressure system over the Hudson Bay is going to help with that. Looking at minus 40 parts of Nunavut, minus 30 Manitoba. Quick look at the rest of the world. I appreciate you all watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you found it informative. Keeping a track, keeping people aware and prepared to daily events worldwide. Much love, everybody. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Bye-bye now. See you next video. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.